Hi, my name is Phil Simon, and this is a video review for Scott Birkin's book, The Year Without Pants. I've never really read a management book like this. In a way, it's three different books. First, it's a first-person account of working at a company. Second, it's sort of a history of one of the biggest companies of which most people have never heard. WordPress runs something like one out of every five blogs launch or one out of every websites on the web. And then it is, in a way, third, more of a traditional management book with lessons for other companies. But as Scott points out in the book more than once, you cannot just transform a company by adopting a number of principles. Um, culture is very important. And as I read the book, I learned quite a bit about WordPress from Scott's inimitable perspective. There were a lot of different stories about socializing and the sort of blurring between work and pleasure. And at its core, I think Scott's trying to say that work doesn't have to suck. And on that, I could not agree with him more. Um, I really enjoyed reading the book. I learned a lot more about WordPress. I had known a decent amount about it. I run I don't know, six or seven different WordPress sites. And for a lot of my own blogging for my clients, I work in WordPress. So knowing some of the things behind the scenes, I thought was really interesting. Uh, as an aside, I absolutely love Scott's take on email. I think that it is the bane of many organizations' existence. And throughout the book, I could not believe how WordPress was able to function, or I should say automatic, uh, parent company WordPress, was able to function so well without using email. And by relying on chat and Skype and some internal blogging tools, it really does show that there is out there a better way to work if organizations and people just embrace it. So thumbs up to Scott's fifth book. I, I hope that he writes a bunch more. Uh, this was a really enjoyable read, and I read a lot of business books. I should say I start a lot of business books, uh, but I don't often finish them. And This one I would have read if it were three times as long.